Hello everyone and welcome to the University Centre Ask and Brian at York. I'm Rob Wilson and I'm the academic lead for curriculum students. And I'm really glad to welcome you to our virtual open event today. Um, I'd like to take you through um, who we are and what sort of course offerings we have here at the University Centre at Ask and Brian. This is the main leadership team uh, for the uh, University Centre. Um, I work alongside um, Rachel um, Astley and Deirdre Rini, who are both deans of higher education here at the University Centre. And myself, who's the, like I said, the curriculum and students academic leader. Amanda Clarkson, who looks after our quality and main operations. Uh, Dave Brown, who's our head of teaching, learning and quality. And then Mark Hoyle, um, who's our academic leader for research and scholarship on the end there. So this is our campus. Um, we've got a really nice green space, a uh, nice big open campus. Um, and uh, the main university centre is situated here in the centre of the main campus at York. Um, but on this side of the campus we've got our animal management facilities and the whole wildlife park as well. So we've got a zoo on site. Um, we've also got equine facilities down the bottom end here. Uh, our boriculture and horticulture based. Um, and then the farm on this side of the campus as well. Also in the main area of the campus uh, we've got our accommodation, uh, both en suite and self-catered. Um, and also we've got our science facilities and sports uh, facilities in the centre of the campus there also. Um, but also you can see on this side of the campus is the equine point-to-point uh, -point course. Um, we work with three uh, different university partners. Uh, the vast majority of our programmes are validated by Half College University um, and uh, our veterinary nursing provision uh, by the Royal and our sports provision uh, there by Leeds Trinity. So the programmes we've got on offer in 2021-22, uh, um, we have three um, three-year honours programmes. This is a direct entry three-year route, uh, which will start off at level four, five and six in three years. And we have those, a BSc honours in agriculture, BSc honours in management science and a BSc honours in equine science with management. Um, that's the small provision that we we'll have. The main provision that we have is our foundation degrees. Uh, so foundation degrees are a two-year programme mainly um, and they, um, they're a lot more focused around sort of vocational aspects uh, and also the um, applied components as well along with your science uh, to support that and then also the option to top these up so you do end up with a full BSc towards the end of it. Um, so here's some of them, so we've got equine science and management, our board of and urban forestry, uh, we've got sports, veterinary nursing, um, and then we've got some brand new ones coming on board as well. So we've got uh, one in precision livestock, uh, and this is through the IOT, uh, so that's the Institute of Technology for Yorkshire and the Humber. We've got rural enterprise management, uh, again another nice new one there. And on the far side here we've got one coming on board which is the management of aquatics and conservation of oceans. Again, really picking up on some of those key topics right now in the sector. Uh, and also a nice new one there on wildlife and environmental conservation. Those ones are subject to validation, um, but the rest of them we will still be uh, running along with. Um, we've still got our general and management foundation degree, quite a popular degree, and also the management of collections and conservation in canine feline behaviour. So once you've done those foundation degrees, um, like I said, it takes two years to complete mainly, um, aside from vet nursing, which takes three, um, so you've got one year somewhere during the middle. Um, a lot of students, well, you can either graduate with that, with your two-year foundation degree, or you can stay on and do a one-year top-up. The vast majority of our students do stay on and do a top-up, and that allows you to come out with a full BSE towards the end of it. So, relating to top-ups, we've got um, agricultural management. Um, so, again, feeding on from those foundation degrees that we have there in precision livestock uh, and foundation degree in agriculture. Again, a quite a general animal management top-up as well. If you're not entirely sure what sort of sector to go into, Again, animal management is probably the best one for yourself. Canine, okay, feline, behaviour and welfare. Animal conservation, zoo management, those sorts of things. Uh, again, feeding through some of those really nice foundation degrees that you have on offer. Equine science and management, again, topping up your equine sciences. Applied horticulture, pet nursing, and the new one there, sports studies. So these are one-year programmes, all of which are level six. Okay, the idea being that you can top up your foundation degree, or if you're an external student and you've done a high national diploma, uh, you're all welcome to join us and top up one of our suitable uh, top ups there to get your full BSc or BSc honours. We also have two uh, masters programmes, um, so we're really pleased to get these going. We're in the second year of running our masters, um, and they're on a part time basis. And you come and visit us for four one week blocks through the academic year over a two year period. Um, this allows you to carry on working, um, also to upskill yourself 
um, without having to take too much time out of work or out of your day to day lives. And we have two masters, one in zoo management and conservation and one in applied animal behaviour and welfare. So it's a very, very different uh, delivery method uh, for those two, um, but they're proving really quite uh, popular at the moment. So what does a full-time degree here at uh, the University Centre look like? Um, so nine times out of ten, you're in three to four days a week, depending on what elective modules you may have picked for those degrees that were electives, and also depending on um, what sort of uh, makeup of that, uh, that degree is. So nine times out of ten, it's like, say, three to four days a week. Foundation degree programmes, you've got 300 hours of relevant work experience to do. That's split over two years, um, so you do about 150 hours in year one, followed by 150 hours in year two. And this is what employers are really after. So employers, uh, when we speak to them about our degrees, and we do uh, technical advisory group meetings with employers and the industry, uh, when we write these degrees, we spend a lot of time with them to make sure the degree that we're giving you, uh, that you're working towards, um, really does meet the need of that sector. A lot of employers are asking for experience, hence why I've got the work experience in there and the vocational placement, um, and also the asking obviously for the qualification and those specialist modules that we've got within there. So this really helps you um, get against, uh, against sort of other people that are applying for the same positions that you might be in the future. Uh, veterinary nursing, um, like I mentioned earlier, veterinary nursing uh, takes three years to do for the foundation degree because you've got one year with us, your second year you go out to placement, it's called a sandwich course, uh, and then the third year you're back with us doing your level five. So in order to uh, complete your veterinary nursing programme, you're required to do 1,800, oops, sorry, 1800 hours of placement uh, on the programme. Um, and uh, this goes towards your uh, professional accreditation um, to be a registered veterinary nurse for the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons. Also, um, because we realise that work experience is really important, it's what employers are after, our BSE programme, so those three that I mentioned at the start, not the top-ups, just the three-year BSEs, uh, we ask those students to do a 10-week work placement and this allows you um, to gain certification from that. Um, it's not directly linked to your course but we give you a certificate to say that you've completed those work experience hours alongside your BSE programme. So some quick facts to do with what we do and um, what we have here at the University Centre. Uh, retention wise, um, we've got about 89% retention on our programmes. Um, from a quick survey, 77% um, of our students felt uh, they were ready for employment, so that's really, really good. We're really quite pleased with that. Um, but they feel they're ready to go into the workplace. 86% went on to further study, and they felt ready to go and do that. So either go and do a top-up, or go and do a master's, or even potentially a PhD. 55% of our students felt they were ready to start their own business. Now, with the vocational uh, programmes that we offer, and the foundation degrees, every single, every single one of our degrees does have that, a business element to it. Um, and this is really key for when you're going into the sector because our employers um, want to make sure that you understand business but equally if you want to set up your own business. Um, so we've go, we do a different module, the main module in the first year is intro to business and then depending on what sort of route you do and uh, foundation degree you have, um, there's a range of different level 5 and level 6 business modules also. So we're really quite pleased with that. One thing that sets us apart from other uh, colleges and universities that offer higher education um, is the contact time. So we still offer one-to-one -one tutorials, we still offer group tutorials, so you've got quite a high contact time with your course manager. This is to keep you on track, to make sure that you're doing the right thing, uh, but also to make sure um, the staff know you. And that's something I'm really proud of here at the University Centre, is that my team, the lecturers and the course managers know their students, um, and they really want to make sure that you're on the right track still to get to that end career goal that you're working towards. And also we have quite a small class size, our average class size is about 18. Um, it does depend heavily on what modules, um, so practical modules is no more than probably about 12, um, and even less within the equine area. Um, but uh, some of the larger classes are maybe up to 30, uh, 40, depending on the sorts of modules and how popular those modules may be. So relating to fees and transport, um, Fees for the academic year 21-22 look at £9,000 a year. Um, masters though, however, a masters provision is £8,000 and it's £4,000 each year, so it's split over two years, so £8,000 in total. Um, but for all of our undergrad provision, it's £9,000 a year. Um, student finance loans are available, just search student loans in, uh, in Google or other search engines. 
and also transport may be available to York campus on buses um, and also you can find out more detail on our website there's an interactive route finder there for you to help you make sure you can get on the right sort of bus and see where we offer uh, for that transport. We also do have quite a large range of uh, accommodation on site. We've got just around 400 rooms um, relating to um, uh, different ensuite halls. Um, also we've got some uh, standard halls with shared facilities. And there's a range of different price brackets for that as well. And the best place to look is also on our website in the accommodation section. Um, and they'll be able to give you a bit more information around the different packages that we have. Food packages and also accommodation packages also there for you. It's important to note that applications for accommodation open in the spring of each year, so this next year will be spring 2021, um, and they do tend to fill quite quickly. So uh, if you are interested in staying on site, we have students come from all over the UK, um, and some from Europe as well, and the world, so um, please do check, uh, and if you are wanting accommodation, please try and book on as soon as you can. These are the first come, first serve basis. So... Uh, just relating to a bit about where our students go on to in the future, obviously it's really important, uh, but we've got about 95% uh, graduate employment. And they go into a range of different careers, depending on what sort of degree, degrees you're on. Uh, we've got things like training agronomists, um, so there's an agricultural sector, that's crops um, and crop science. Uh, riding groom for the Olympic event rider, lab assistants, further study, like I mentioned, a lot of our students tend to go on to either top up or go on to further study, uh, so MSc or PhDs. Uh, Kew Gardens, for example, we're able to have a marketing officer there. Uh, zoo managers, and also successful employment. Obviously, the vet nurse is going to be a veterinary nurse. Um, but that successful self-employment is really quite important um, because, like I say, a lot of students feel they're ready to go up and set their own business when they finish their degrees. So, while studying with us here at the University Centre, we could do a range of different opportunities for you. Um, and I want to make sure that these are running each year as best we can. A lot of them obviously are tied in with different modules, some of them are enrichment based, but a lot of them are tied into the different modules that you've been studying in the subject areas. So on the right hand side of the board there I've got a range of different UK sort of based uh, short day trips as it were. Um, obviously London's not a short day trip. Um, but North Cave Wetlands, uh, Future Sport, Horse Stud, Yorkshire Wildlife Park from England, Chester Zoo obviously, and they're linking to the sorts of degrees that you may be doing. Uh, and then also sumo engineering there as well. We do have some further study tours a bit further afield, so leaving UK waters. Um, so Netherlands, Jersey, Scotland, Tenerife, Aruba, Malta, Sweden are just some of the ones that we've done in the past. Uh, they're a little bit closer, but some further afield. Um, each year we tend to take students out to South Africa um, and also to uh, Peru now, Thailand and Italy. Um, so a lot of these study programmes that we take students out on are linked to your degree specifically and the area that you go on to um, and they're there to apply that knowledge that you've learned in the sessions. So in the theory based components you'll be able to take some of those theoretical concepts, take them out into the field and deploy them out there. Okay? And there's nothing better than that when it comes to your learning experience, understanding how it physically works in the real working environment. Um, and again, there is some cost to some of these but again I'd probably require and, and uh, suggest to students that you just student learns wisely and carefully um, and budget towards some of these okay you probably want to budget towards especially some of the larger ones so Peru in South Africa um, you're looking at about two and a half thousand pounds uh, depending on cost of flights and things like that and changes um, but uh, budget and that's what it's all about is make sure you've got enough money and you can support yourself as well as get onto some of these quite amazing opportunities for you. And that brings my little talk to a close. So I'd like to thank you very much for listening and I hope you've uh, found some information that you uh, are after. Um, and also please do engage with my colleagues uh, in the other various different information areas uh, and to learn a bit more about the degrees that you've got, uh, sorry, that we've got on offer. Um, and just one last final statement. Um, this is our uh, graduation that we had in, uh, in last academic year uh, outside York Minster. Um, so this is our cohort uh, of students that graduated. Really quite a phenomenal event. Um, and really quite proud, um, and it's something where your friends and family will be extremely proud of you uh, when you graduate from your degree programme. Thank you very much.